Okay, mash time is up. I'll take the lid off. And we'll give it a temperature test to see where we are. One at the moment. Sixty two. Sixty three. Probably going to have lost about a degree over the hour. Okay, I'm going to begin the wall off now. Probably take about two litres of the water off. Still a little bit of grist and stuff coming through. I'm going to put the camera down and empty this. Okay, I've okay, I've um, took two litres off. Um, I've got a piece of foil on the top that I've seen others use on YouTube with holes in it uh, to help preserve the grain bed as much as possible. Um, and I'm going to start the first runnings now. And I'm also going to start sparging. That slow sparge. I know a lot of people say about hot side aeration, but I did, I've also heard it can be a myth, and I didn't have any trouble on my last batch, so I'm happy to collect the water like this. Okay, I'm running off the last of the wort now into the bucket, and then what I'll do is I'll transfer from this bucket back into the boiler, and bring it to the boil. Okay, we've got the wort now transferring down back into the boiler. <laughs> Once that's full, I'll put it to the boil and then add the first of the hops. Guys, I'm almost at the boil, it's just starting to roll now. I'm going to flick one element off in a second. Here comes the boil. Flip that element off. And just leave this one on over here. Okay, we've got the boil. So go the first top addition and 
And that will boil now for an hour. After the hour, we add our protoflock and the wort chiller, and then boil for 10 minutes. And then in the last five minutes, add the aroma hops. Okay, guys, I've just um, put the wort chiller in for the last 15 minutes of the boil to sterilise, and uh, I've put my protoflock granules in as well. So we've got um, 10 minutes and then for the last 5 minutes I put in my aroma hops. Right, last 5 minutes with the boil. So in go the aroma hops. Right, let that finish the boil then for five minutes and I will remove the hot bags and start the wart chiller. Right, the wart chiller is going. Got it coming in from the garden hose. Up into the wart chiller and then it's going up over on the carriage roof. So it'll go down the gutter and out the drain. So it's flooding the garden. I'm just going to take a quick temperature. See where we're at. Um, amazingly, we're already at 75 and it's been running a matter of minutes. So we'll come back in about 10 15 minutes and check again. The watch has been running for a few minutes now. I just wanted to show you this. I don't know if you can pick it up or not on the camera, but you can actually see the cold break taking place. You can see the proteins to clump together. Okay, as per the instructions, um, the original gravity that I need to hit is 1042 with a final gravity of 1010 which makes it 4.2% ABV I've just done my hydrometer reading in my trial jar and I've got about 1041 so pretty close so I'm pleased with that and the final step now um, I made a yeast starter, well not a yeast starter, sorry, I rehydrated my yeast 15 minutes ago in some cold boiled water in a sanitised jug. Um, and then here's the wort. So, I'm going to add it to it. And take the lid off. The yeast, the liquefied yeast. Okay, that's the yeast pitched. Airlock's done, half filled with water, ready to ferment for four days. Forever